guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Felicia, everybody calls me Flick. In today's video, as you can see by the titles, we are doing a bit of a, uh, mm, words, shop my stash. There we go. Um, and doing this kind of really easy, simple, neutral lip with a bold lip because I haven't done anything like this. I normally go for a really nude or pinky lip. Um, and yeah, we are obviously in autumn now, so I figured a darker lip would be a bit more seasonal um so yeah if you want to see how i got this look then please keep on watching okay so i'm doing like a really really simple look purely because i want to have makeup on for when i film the brush video so i thought that was a good start um so we are going to do base first which i know i don't normally do but the eyes aren't difficult they're really simple so Oh, taking my P. Louise primers. I'm gonna need to get some more of this. <laughs> so I'm taking a bit of the blocker clock one and just putting that around here. That seems to be my most. I'll say porous, but yeah, put that on my nose as well. A bit on my forehead, and excess that's left on my chin. And then I'm going to take a bit of the hydrate one and again I use this kind of like more around my jawline where I'm a little bit more dry. I love these primers. These are great. Definitely one of my favourite products that P. Louise have come out with for sure. Really wish. This pump on this one for some reason um, is because it's got the little... Okay, let that set in a bit. I've got everything out in front of me. I really should have just done what I normally do and get it out in stages. Um, so, yeah, primer set again. So I'm going to use my 17 second skin. You guys know I really like this. Using 003. These are so good, especially for the price as well. They're a fiver and they really are great. flat brush someone asked me what brush this was this is from a cheap set that i got about eight years ago um on amazon um and it comes in a brush roll and everything a lot of the brushes that i use are from the same set and i did link it in the comments on i think it was when i was testing the revolution irl foundation it was one of those two videos the second one i think um there is a link for it in the comments it's like 11 pound for the set and it's a good set so I'm going to do what I normally do, I'm going to apply it with this and then blend it in with a kabuki brush. Okay, kabuki brush. This one I got in Lidl when they had their individual brushes. I really wish they'd bring them back because these were good. And also, when Lidl, they haven't done it this year, the last couple of years, they had um, in the random crap aisle, as I call it, um, which is normally like the end, like the last chance to get stuff. Um, they used to have their own makeup and it was normally only in summer that they bring it out but like their bronzers were really good i've got a couple of them they had like these lip butter crayons that were really good um really like hydrating and stuff and their skincare stuff that they brought out was really lovely i've still got a little bit of eye cream left um 
Z, what was it? The Sensitive uh, Organic Almond skincare stuff. I've, I got this, I got the cleanser, I got the moisturizer, I got the body oil, and it smells amazing. Again, really, really nice. Really wish they would bring it back. Can we appreciate how, well, this hairband is just literally falling off my head. I am not bothering. I'm just gonna tighten the ponytail because I'm gonna do the pretty, um, I'm going to do the, the plaits where I pinned it up at the bottom. I'm going to do that again today. I'm going to zoom you in and shift forward on my chair. But look at how nice that is on my problematic skin. Mm -hmm. Go and buy it. Um, I'm going to use my Catrice True Skin Concealer. This isn't a shock. You guys know I love this. I'm probably going to have to get some more soon. Gonna take one of my little Primark concealer brushes. This is like the mini Kabuki one out of the set. I just realised I'm gonna have to once I finished filming this before I sit and film my brush video. I'm actually gonna have to sit and clean all my brushes because <laughs> I do have like duplicates of some of them. It's like this set, I have two of um, and stuff like that. Um, my eye brushes, I have a lot of duplicates of some of them, but I'm going to have to sit and clean them all because I'm now using my duplicates. Um, I'm going to take whatever's left on here and I'm just going to be really naughty and instead of using eye primer, actually you know, I'm going to take a little bit more, um, I'm just going to use concealer. Normally you guys know I would use my P. Louise eye base, but again I'm not doing any, I'm not saying like real eye makeup. I'm doing the most simple and basic um, like eyes so I'm not going to add another product when I don't need to. Russian bronze I'm gonna use my she glam ones I, I have got more of these in my basket I've got a darker bronzer and a replacement for this one because it's nearly out um, and I have I think the matte peach one and I have the glowy peach one and this one as well I was gonna use my P Louise ones but I feel like using these ones today this is another brush from an Amazon set. You can see why like this one's very much blending in to my foundation. It's very similar. Um like depth to my foundation at the moment obviously in my winter months um this did match me better but now she's a tad light although it does make quite a good contour actually i will say um so i'm gonna go in with the shade love cake which is the pink just gonna use the same brush just to I find with like cream blush and bronze, if you use a brush, you do get to retain more of the pigment. If you use a sponge, obviously it does blend in a lot more subtly. Okay, cool. So, powder down. I'm gonna use my She Glam one today because I haven't used this for a while. Under eye brush, and I'm gonna use the press bit on top. like instantly 
mattify and smooth it, it's great. I just realised I didn't contour my neck. Oh well, I'll do it with powder. I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to use the loose powder. See, I got this in, what was it? Translucent and bisque, yeah. So the pressed powder is translucent and then the loose is slightly tinted. And I think this powder is like four fifty, five pounds I'm just tapping that. Definitely just tipped out a lot more than I meant to. Mm -hmm. I will say again, this is very soft. It's not as finely milled as my Catrice one, but it is still very soft. I think it helps having like a really super soft brush as well. Okay, uh, I just realized I didn't get a bronzer. My two Beauty Bay ones, because I've got a Beauty Bay blush and highlighter out, although mm, that one's very warm, that one's, might use a little bit of both of these, so this one's donut, which has got a slight sheen to it, and this one's fawn, which is very warm, so I'm going to take a touch of fawn first. gonna take a bit of that one as well okay so I'm gonna take the shade blossom I was gonna go for a peachy blush but I want to do like a darker autumn lip so I'm thinking maybe a more pink tone one would be better. So. I'm taking a very light amount of this on the brush because I do not want to overdo it. Again, this one also has a sheen to it and it is very, very pretty. I'm taking the highlighter in the shade Beam. This is the slightly darker one. Super glowy. I'm going to take a little bit more of my blusher and just blend that in a bit better. Cool. So, Beauty Bay face powders. For the win. You know what? Let's just shove all of these brushes in because they've got to be cleaned. I'm gonna spray some setting spray. So I'm going to take, I was just going to take my bronzer, but I'm going to take my Nudification palette. It's a pretty, pretty nude. It is a dupe for Too Faced, I think. I don't know. Again, I don't own the original, so I don't actually know, but I'm pretty sure it's that one. Okay, I'm going to take my P. Louise 117 and the shade Stripped, which is this one.
then I'm going to take the shade Tan Lines, just that one, I'll just add a bit. And then I'm gonna take. Do you know what? Actually, I'm gonna take one of these little double-ended sponge applicators. Most people hate these because um, they just remind them of, them of like kids' and makeup sets, which fair. But actually, again, if you've got some of them really creamy putty like shimmers that don't want to pick up on the brush these are really good i'm taking this shimmer here which is called hers and gonna... see what i mean I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. I'm going to take a bit of Rebel, the dark one. I'm going to take the other side or end, it doesn't really matter, and I'm going to use Inner Glow, which is that. I'm actually, no, I'm not going to do my underbrow until I've actually done my brows. Um, so I'm going to do liner. I'm going to use my NYX. Right, so I've stuck lashes on. My liner ended up a lot thicker than I intended, but it's fine. Um, I also chucked um, the shade strip, which is the first shade I use on my eyes. I chucked that underneath and my lower lash mascara. Now for lips, I'm going in with my Huda Lip Contour in the shade Vixen and Maybelline Superstay in 50 Voyager. It's a really like deep. Uh -huh. Burgundy chip. Comfy in my chair. Right. Let's see if we can get my lips semi even, shall we? Super dark. Okay. I've learned the trick with this is when you put it on, do not rub your lips together. Okay. I need that to dry. Okay, so that is drying. For the most part, I'm done. I'm gonna go off, sort my hair out, 
um, and everything else, get dressed because I'm still in my pyjamas, and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Hair's done, I'm dressed, um, clippings are in. This is the final look. I think this is like a really nice, if you just want to wear something simple every day, then obviously like with a bold lip, then this is a really nice look. My lashes are the Isla 117s. Uh, I do feel if I hadn't done as thick liner, these would be a bit more um, like prominent. So let me zoom you in. I like it. I think this is really pretty. Uh, yeah, I think this is a really pretty kind of look. If you just want something simple, now we're in the winter months. I mean, this could be done any time of year. Just switch up your lip for something a bit more seasonal. But I like this. I think it looks really nice. Um, and yeah. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please not forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, leave me a comment down below, all of that good stuff. As always, socials are up here. They're also linked down below. I will link everything that I've used in the description box. I'm pretty sure actually everything I've, I've used can be linked. So that's a nice change. I didn't use anything from like Primark or whatever. So yeah, it was nice to revisit some of these products. Um, like the nudification palette my brow stuff i use the two in one uh pencil and brow pen from shein the shein powder uh my beauty base like bronzers and blushes i haven't used my singles in a while so yeah it was really nice to kind of revisit some of those um some of those products but uh yeah on that note i'm gonna love you and leave you and go and film my other video and i'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.